In this session, we are going to learn how to write MapReduce programs using Java. When we want to handle big data, instead of processing data using conventional way, we break down our logic into two parts, map and reduce. Map gets executed on all the machines having data and gives output in the form of key value pairs. And reduce receives the output of all the maps group by key. The grouping is done by MapReduce framework. Reduce can aggregate the values per key. Let us learn how to write these map and reduce parts in Java. Why Java? Since Apache Hadoop is written in Java, you can modify the behavior to a very large extent. We are going to write MapReduce job to count unique words in a plain text file big.txt stored in hdfs in slash data slash mr slash word count slash input let us first understand how to write mapper we write a piece of logic which would break down the input record into key value pair the input record itself is also made up of two parts key and value the default input format is text input format which is used for handling plain text files the text input format creates a record for every line in the input file a record has two parts key and value in case of text input format the value is the content of the line and the key is location where the line starts in the example in the diagram the raw data is converted to three records having values this is a cow, this is a buffalo, and this is a hen. The first line, this is a cow, starts at location 0, so the key is 0. For the line, there is a hen, starts at 34th byte or character. The key for the record, therefore, is 34. Please note that this is not a line number. A class in Java is a complex data type that can have methods and member variables in it too. A class is like a blueprint. We create many objects of a class. We can create many objects out of stub mapper. Example of class would be person and Sandeep Giri is an instance or object of it. We will write code that defines class between these two curly brackets. The name of this class could be anything. Here, the name of our class is stubmapper. We need to create a class for mapper. It means the behavior of our class stubmapper would be inherited from mapper. We will hand over this stubmapper class to MapReduce framework. And framework will create instance of it for each input split. Your mapper class must extend mapper class. It is mandatory from the framework side. While extending the mapper class, we can define the data types of input key, input value, output key, and output value. Between the angle brackets, the first one signifies data type of input key. In our example, it is number of bytes at which the value is starting. The second one is the data type of input value. In our case, input value is each line, which is a text. The third data type is of output key. We are going to give out each word as a key. Therefore, it is text. Fourth one is for the output value. We are going to give value as one. Therefore, it is long. Then we define the function with the name map and put an override keyword as an annotation on it. This function returns nothing that is void, but has three arguments, input key, input value, and context. This is the function in which we write the logic to convert input record into key values. We will be writing key values into context object. It is up to us how many and what key values we give out. So, the input record that is key and the value along with the context is made available to you in this function you can write whatever logic you want to generate key values. 
In our example where we have input format as text input format, the map function would be executed against every line of the file and our code inside this map function would be provided with each line as input value and the lines starting location in the input file as input key and we would be writing the output key value pairs in the context object. First, we split the input line by space or tabs into an array of strings. Then for each of the words, we give out word as the key and numeric 1 as the value. While giving out the key and the value to MapReduce via context, why are we writing new text bracket word bracket closed and new long writable? The usual classes or types of Java to represent numbers, text and other objects are not efficient. So, MapReduce team designed their own classes called writables corresponding to most of the Java primitive objects. So, while giving out the values to MapReduce, we need to wrap the basic objects into wrappers provided by MapReduce framework. It is exactly like wrapping a gift for someone's birthday and the values that we receive from the framework such as first two arguments of map function we need to unwrap those two before using. In our example, we are converting text class to string by calling toString method on the text object. Now, here's the complete code along with exception declarations, which is part of Java way of handling errors. To take a look at complete code, please see it on the displayed URL of our GitHub repository. So, what does mapper code do? It basically converts each line into key value pairs, having each word of the line as key and numeric one as value. It does not do any sorting. Also, map method is called for each line. In our example, it has been called three times, while the class stub mapper is initialized or instantiated only once per input split. In the similar way, we create reducer. We define our reducer class by extending the reducer from MapReduce framework library and also we define input output key value data types. Then we define the reduce method. Notice the arguments of reduce method. First argument is the key and second argument is an iterator of values which is equivalent of list or cursor. So, your reduce method is called on each key and its values. Please recollect that output of mapper is grouped on key by MapReduce framework and then for each group, your reduce method will be called. All of the values for each unique key will be passed as second argument. The role of a reduce function is to process the list of values for each key. In our case, we are simply iterating over ones and summing them up. So, this would give count for each unique word. The result of reducer is stored in HDFS. Once we are done writing mapper and reducer, we can tie things together by creating a job using driver. The driver code looks like usual Java class having a main method which is traditionally the entry point in Java programs. We create a job object, set its name correctly, we then set our stub mapper class as the mapper, then we set our stub reducer class as reducer, then we define output key value data types. Then we define input path, the directory or file from which our job will read data. We then define output path, which should be a directory that does not exist yet. If it exists, the job will throw an error. Please note that input path and output path both are pointing to HDFS. Once we are done configuring, we can start the job using job dot wait for completion.